Tiffany, what are you doing here? Running late Yeah. Today? I expected you earlier. I needed to talk to you, but I'm sorry, Bruce. This is for your own protection. What the fuck? Bruce Wayne, you're under arrest for armed robbery, murder, and criminal conspiracy to commit a terrorist act. The hell? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. <sighs> Gentlemen, please. You have my full court. Shut your mouth and stay down. Don't hurt him. Uh, thanks for the call, Miss Fox. You've done a good thing today. You lied to me. You need to stand back, or we're gonna have a problem. Bruce, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect them to be so violent. I just wanted them to get you away from those nut jobs. <sighs> this is my fault. We will talk about this later. Oh. Director Waller? Uncuff Mr. Wayne right now, or you'll spend the rest of your life as a meter maid. <sighs> Mr. Wayne is under agency protection, and you know it. What? You've known it for some time. Waller and the agency? They're not always going to be around to save you, Wayne. One day, you're going to run out of favors to call in. I'm not a criminal, Gordon. Save Officers, it. please. Oh. He's involved. He belongs in a cell. This is neither your concern or your purview. Go home, Gordon. You're done here. The hell I will. If I were you, I'd be very careful of my next words. And if I were you, I'd stop interfering with GCPD business. This is my city. Not anymore. You're so far out of line, you can't see the truth. You're dismissed. Excuse me? You tested me. This is what happens. Damn it, Waller. You can't do this. It's well within my power <sighs> and you know it. Waller, Gordon is a good cop. He's a good man. Don't do this. Not from you. It's the last straw. I won't allow anyone to question my authority. This is strictly professional. Oh, sure. Time to go, Jim. <laughs> Every decision I made is coming back to bite. We'll make sure Gordon leaves and be right outside. When you're ready. <laughs> I apologize for everything. Calling the cops was Here's that chance. Much. Well, you wanted a chance to talk to me, so here it is. Talk. I just don't understand how you got tied up in all this. The agency? If I had known you were... What are you doing with them? Please, just tell me, Bruce. Look, Tiffany, I'm an undercover operative. What I'm doing, it's dangerous. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> I see now, though. This is why he's dead. He was involved in whatever you're doing. This work you're doing seems incredibly dangerous. But it there's is. something I don't get. Why you? I mean, no offense, but <laughs> you're just... Bruce. I'm Batman. You're Batman. The Batman. Come on. I got something to show you. <laughs> hey, Bruce. Wanted to show you a preview of your new bat suit. I know you and Alfred are still on your well deserved retreat, but I couldn't help myself. Dad. I'll upload the specs to your private server. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I'll see you soon. It 
it was hard to believe. But hearing it from him... Your dad was a hero. Your dad believed this city deserved better. He believed in me. And to think I gave him lip for missing dinner sometimes. With dad gone... Maybe I can still help. If Batman is interested. <coughs> it's the least I can do. And I know my dad would be proud. I could use the help. The way things are going right now... He could use a little help. Okay. I need to... Digest. Sorry for everything earlier, but thank you for trusting me with this. I'm only saying we might be pushing him too hard. He's capable and he knows how to cover his tracks. Our only path forward is through Wayne. <clears throat> oh, let's get to it then. I know you have some questions. Yeah. A few. Care to explain why the videos I saw said this virus was an agency experiment? Years ago, I was brought in to rectify the agency's past mistakes. Or failing that, to cover them up. One mess in particular dealt with black ops experiments. Human subjects. The kind of amoral science that makes your skin crawl. Sanctus. They were a division that was shut down for good, long before either of us joined. But evidently, they went underground. This is our worst-case scenario. With Sanctus off the leash, this research poses a global threat. <sighs> if I'd known where they set up their den, I would have taken them out years ago. Well, here's your you chance. You taken out. Now is your chance. We know right where they are. It's not that simple. Sanctus was dangerous then. They're certainly worse now. Really? This whole situation. It's given me an idea. I can't put an agent within a thousand yards of that place without them starting a war or blowing up the entire block just to cover their tracks. We know it's tricky, but leaving Harley and her gang into Sanctus might allow the two problems to take care of themselves. Really? They have Riddler's info. They have a way in. And you are undercover with them. At least with Sanctus and the Pact at each other's throats, the agency can act quickly, clean up, and minimize casualties. It's unorthodox, hmm. but a strike like this will keep damage from spilling on the pact Gotham is streets. unpredictable. You two can't be serious. Harley, Bane, Freeze? No, they can't be trusted. We don't have to trust them. We trust you. Look, for now, just go and check this place out. Right now, as yourself. We don't want them to know Batman is on their tail. I bet you're the type of guy who has some expensive surveillance equipment. We have your back, Bruce. We'll be right behind you. Keep me in the loop so I know what my team and I might be facing when it goes down. Defenses, security, whatever. Their lives are in your hands, Bruce. As well as the fate of this city. I know you might have reservations about working with Harley and her crew like this. Yeah. Sometimes you have to use bad people to do good things. <sighs> no kidding. The spa. Al? Have you located the black site? I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the Bodhi Spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. Couldn't tell from the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. Hmm. They have no idea what's coming for them. I'll proceed with caution. There's no way to tell until I get in there. I'll proceed with caution. Initiate the feed of my contacts to Waller. Let her know I'm here. At once. I need to see what we're up against. Good idea. Remember, you're able to toggle the thermal imaging in your lenses. 
I'm signing off while you speak with Director Waller. Be careful. Thanks, Al. Waller? On the <sighs> line, Bruce. I'm here. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Caution is key, Bruce. This situation is a spark away from a wildfire. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Huh. Project Lotus. This is definitely the place. Mm. Bodhi Spa. Good work, Bruce. They weren't exactly being subtle. Hmm. Okay. See the grid and everything. Oh, okay. That there's the main board. I see a security panel inside the building. It could trigger an alarm system of some kind. If I can hit that before they suspect what I'm really here for, they'll be blind and helpless. Perfect for my people. You just saved a few agents' lives, Bruce. Hopefully, them all. Okay. Oh. Receptionist. Looks like we have a receptionist behind the front desk. She's hardly anything to worry about. All too easy to hide a gun under that desk. Hmm. If not more, really. Ooh. Ah. He pipes. Some heat pipes. <laughs> That's it. Ooh. There are still traces of heat signatures. Someone was here recently. Maybe guards. Maybe. There's a massage going on. That appears to just be a patron. Hmm. Oh, hello. Hey. They're heading downstairs. The real lab must be underground. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing to let these criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite hmm. adjectives. <laughs> I'm kidding. I do believe that is pretty much it, though. Hmm. That access door is connected to the spa. Well, duh. Top-notch field work, Bruce. I know being undercover has been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Hmm. Okay. Well, I need to go. Now, why would a billionaire be skulking around in a filthy alley? Carefully inspecting Bang. every detail. Almost as if performing reconnaissance. I could ask you the same. Oh, I'm not skulking. I have a very deliberate purpose. Okay. My Bane, have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. That's the same thing. I heard the GCPD <laughs> paid you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent as that. Then, something about the look on your face as you left. So, determined. Yes, I had a sense you would lead me to something interesting. Hmm. Project Lotus. This is the secret you and Harley had. Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? I'll do your best, to be honest. Lies insult us both. This is it. The black site Riddler wanted to hit. So this is what Harley was trying to keep secret. Yeah. She didn't know. Strange that you're here after a run-in with GCPD in an alleyway with the other rats. Finding you in this 
duplicitous position, while we have a mole problem. But it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right to her conspiracy. Wake up. Ooh. Rise and shine. you're about to face Wayne you did the right thing telling me about the black site but there's still something about you that gives me pause something that casts a shadow over your heart Harley wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole this will be her chance so be thoughtful with your words in there they could be your last uh-huh Thanks, for, Thanks the for the warning. I'll be careful. I hope it's not you, Wayne. <laughs> but if it is, I'll kill everyone who shows up for your funeral. What is it now, Bane? The rat has been uncovered. Wayne was right under your nose. I tracked Wayne to the location of the black site. He had I a... sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle, and now we got it. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. <coughs> I got it covered. And Bane, tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. You're not going anywhere. You're in here with me. Hmm. Could you not? It's not like I'm going to just turn and run. But I am nervous now. Thanks for backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Your father. He was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him. Betrayed him. He ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy. Take no apologies. That sort of thing. Mm. There's always another way. Killing someone isn't an answer. The son of Thomas Wayne shies away from spilling blood. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Or there are more to the story I should know. Hidden depths? Secrets you don't want me to see? I'm more. Oh, come on. I'm more than just that. We all have more to us, Bruce. You're not telling me anything I didn't already know. Did you forget I used to be a doctor? Went to <coughs> doctor in school and everything. All for my dad. You got some of the same shades as him. Uneasy. Uneasy. And they all fell down to the deep to drown, to the dark to drown. He used to sing that to me. My dad. Made me feel safe. Like nothing could hurt me. You have a nice voice. <laughs> Might want to get those ears checked, Brucey. <laughs> What's left of them. <laughs> but it's nice to know I have a fan. Been running short of those lately. In fact... You being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, you do? Okay. You found me the black site, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. <laughs> but, you actually care for some people. Like that girl John told me about. What's her face? Uh, 
Brittany? No. Tiffany. You remember? Early 20s, fresh faced and optimistic. Oh She's God. nothing. No? No, I think it was Brittany. Sorry, I barely know her. <laughs> you're cute when you're friends. You know that? I don't know if she's your friend or mortal enemy, but I know you care about her at least a little. Yeah, friends are great. Except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. What are you? Yeah, Shaka. We have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place. Except maybe one. Or two. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Mm. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing. The laptop <sighs> and nothing after that. Well, you must have missed something. Catwoman and I are loyal. Oh, okay. I guess I'll take your word for it. Spoiler alert. I ain't taking your word for it. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. <coughs> oh, boy. Harley, uh, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever. I'll be right outside. <sighs> Admit it, rat scum. You're the. <clears throat> oh. Sorry, I have to make it sound good. Man. Hit me again. Do it again. What? Hit me again. <laughs> Take. <clears throat> You're hitting him already. Let it play. <sighs> I never wanted it to come to this, but we both know what has to be done. Catwoman has to take the fall. Think about it, Bruce. Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you. <sighs> Who knows if she'll stop there? Okay, John. That's what we'll do. What? Really? You'd see reason. Didn't expect you to see it that fast. <laughs> I can't do okay. <laughs> this. I'm calling her back in. Harley, we're done. Puddin, you might have surpassed the teacher. That was record time. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. Just like we talked about. <laughs> Please. <laughs> it was me, Harley. I took it. You were just starting to get under my skin. Too bad. I guess I do have to hurt Tiffany after all. And you, of course. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like, send this one to the great icebox in the sky. Fuck! Is that the icebox? <laughs> Get him inside. You can let the cats out of the bag. Bruce. Bruce is in deep trouble. Harley, be reasonable. <laughs> Why would I start now? I can help. You need me. Yeah. Once you're an ice cube, I can use you to keep the vodka cold. Wait! Harley, as great as this is as a punishment, not Bruce. You can't. Go on. 
He's he's my best friend. Aw, oh, Puddin. That's sweet. So maybe we can let him go? Live, at least? Nah. Uh, <sighs> Be sure to send Tiffany a postcard from Antarctica. I fucked up big time. Oh man, I, I still can't believe. Oh, deceived. She was unconvinced by your defense. <coughs> Unimpressed by your stance. Deceived. Ugh. Wait, actually, hold on. Left. Oh wow, a lot of people just left as deceived. Get rid. He took to your. <coughs> to be genuine, he felt sorry for letting down his hero when he couldn't retrieve the laptop. Because you sacrificed yourself, he felt guilt-ridden. Honored. Hey, she felt valued when you took the time to let her um let her apologize and explain. She felt honored that you would let her in on her Batman secret. Furious, she was miffed when you didn't accept her apology about the convoy. Whoops. She felt superior when you pushed back against her desire to use the villains in the. She will be furious when you gave up your cover. Horrified. She was grateful that you warned her. She felt honored that you let her. She felt horrified watching you what ha um, watching what happened to you. Remorseful. He was annoyed when Catwoman evaded. He was relieved that when you didn't resist. He feels a little re um, remorseful about trying. Gordon, man. <laughs> Did you warn? 57.2 warned her. Which, to be himself, yeah, 52 percent. 86 told her. Well, wow. 76 took the fall and left. In Jesus, 76.5. I'm in the majority of most of them, but there's just some things in there that I could could have done better, like. These are the choices I have to stick with now. And there's still two more episodes to to go through. Like, my god. Oh, man. I hope they come out soon as well. Like, they're just becoming more and more interesting. The choices you make in the previous episodes be, are starting to flash out now. And really starting to bite me in the ass. Ow. And this is only episode three. What the hell is going to happen in four and five? <laughs> like... Uh, I don't know. It's games like this that really hooks me into it, and I hated how they have to release each episode, each episode slowly. Yeah, sure, it takes time to make them, and and blah 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 blah. But please, a little faster. I'm really interested in knowing what happens next. So. Guess we have to wait now. Don't know much else to do. <laughs> what I like ails you. In a definite change of plans as the villain's lethal plot escalates. Oh man. By the looks of this episode, the thing that hides within John slowly creeps on out. Oh man. I kind of hope he stays good, because that'd be amazing. But still. It's Goka, after all. I still have hope, though. I always have hope. But, for now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more in the future, subscribe to the channel. As always, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.